Morning all. Uh, it's that time of year again, September. Uh, we're approaching the autumn equinox. Not my favourite time of year. I have to switch now my solar power system from summer mode to winter mode, so let's get started. My battery bank voltage is low, 12.1 volts, and I noticed last night that that had dropped to 11.8, so it uh, desperately needs to have the uh, security camera removed. Uh, it's actually quite sunny today. In fact, it's an unusually sunny all day day. Weird. Yeah, it's actually really quite pleasant out here. It's not particularly warm, but uh, it's not bad. Right, let's check the battery bank. Here's my main battery bank, six of these uh, gel batteries, 12 volt, all in parallel, two bus bars there. They came out of uh, old UPSs, so they were not new by any uh, stretch, but they do seem to be holding up pretty well. Now, uh, the main problem um, that I get at this time of year is as the day length gets uh, much shorter, this constant load, this security camera here, um, and you can see what's inside this box. I'll put a little um, a card up in the top right hand corner here so you can uh, see a video I made of modifying this thing. But it takes a constant, well it's about one amp from these batteries and of course it does that day and night. Uh, it's constant, it just doesn't stop. So before we went on holiday this year, uh, to Malta. Malta, what a fantastic place Malta is. Anyway, more about that later. Um, I put this big car battery, which I often use for my solar power experiments, using jump leads in parallel with the battery bank because I was concerned that the security camera just wouldn't last uh, during the holiday because the weather here was pretty awful. Now my 100 watt solar panel up there on the fence is actually in its winter position, uh, high up, angled, at quite a steep angle for a low sun. But it, as you can see, it's not catching anything at the moment. Uh, the one on the lawn there is, but uh, you can tell by the shadows that it's kind of facing the wrong direction. So let's turn that round and try and get the most out of today's sunshine and uh, get these batteries a bit charged up. Right, that one's turned round to face the sun. I think actually, uh, given today's sunshine, I'm going to bring this one down, put it on the lawn and just see if I can uh, maximise the current going into my batteries today. So let's snip these cable ties and uh, get this panel down. Right. So that's both panels uh, down on the ground. There are also these old amorphous panels sitting on top of the shed, but they're only 12 watt on the top and 5 watt at the front, so they're not really doing anything. Uh, there's 180 watts of panels uh, down here. 100 monocrystalline on the right, 80 monocrystalline on the left. Now, of course, we're not going to get 180 watts into the batteries because I'm not MPPTing. Uh, there's also quite a long cable run from this shed where the connections for these two panels start uh, through wires that go around the back of these bushes. Just see the uh, white wire there. And then they run along here, along the fence, up here, actually into the gutter on the kitchen and right along there. Uh, up along here, down and across and into my battery bank. It's quite a long run of cable. Ah, now that's a lot better. 13.1, so we've pushed the batteries up a whole volt. Now to aid the charging process today, I'm going to actually remove the connections for the security camera. So that's that and that. That can go down there. Um, so now that security camera is offline, no longer uh, sending images to the file server. And I think I'll also now move the big battery uh, back onto the lawn where it normally lives. So let's take off the uh, uh, jump leads, which I used to parallel it with my main bank. Whoops, nearly shorted those two together. <laughs> would have, that would have made a, a bit of a spark and a bit of a meltdown. Oops. So now I'm going to move this battery uh, back out onto the lawn. It's extremely heavy, so uh, let's do it. Right, that's back in its uh, wooden box. The wooden box which was never intended to hold this battery, it was always meant as a flower pot, but um, I now use it 
to put this battery in let's connect the solar panel back to this one now I normally have this uh, 80 watt panel connected to the big car battery uh, this one with the very long leads but I think I might actually swap that for the left hand one of these two this 80 watt panel um, because I got an idea this hedge between uh, myself and my neighbor is quite tall it's kind of uh, about eight foot tall I think I would like it lower but uh, well that's not gonna happen uh, what's happened to this Sun oh come on BBC you promised me all day sunshine this isn't good enough so uh, my mate Mark um, friend and sometimes boss gave me these timber uh, what are they two by twos they look like they're treated so uh, they should be uh, able to withstand living outdoors so what I thought I'd do is make a big tall frame for mounting my solar panels on so if I move that battery box uh, down a bit I can put the panel with the long leads connected to the shed which will then charge my battery bank down by the house and the panel with the short leads the one on the left there can be connected directly to this battery pretty much vertically it'll come off my big frame which will be pretty high and go down onto that battery and just keep that one topped up throughout the winter so now I'm going to swap these MC4s for these MC4s but I think I'll get some Vaseline because I don't swap these very often and it's probably uh, worth weatherproofing them when I do now I'm just going to Vaseline the O-rings that's uh, all I'm going to do a bit tricky holding the camera so I'll do that properly now mm, one of the lugs has broken off this MC4 connector I suppose these things with the sun on them all the time just the plastic weakens eventually but I'll probably make new ones of these anyway so I'm not too bothered so the solar panel with the long leads is now on my shed uh, along with the 100 watt solar panel let's go and check the batteries because now I've removed the uh, the big car battery which is going to have this 80 watt panel with the shorter leads uh, my batteries on the battery bank should have gone up in voltage even more I'd have thought with a 180 watts not 180 watts of course because there's no MPPT oh okay uh, still 13.1 no change there, they must be pretty depleted. So I just have to wait for them to charge. So now to build this frame, but I don't seem to have much in the way of angle brackets. Uh, one T bracket and a few of these uh, brackets which I cut down and modified. They're no good. I don't think there's any in here. No, what's in there? No, nothing in there. So I think I'm gonna have to think of an alternative plan. A uh, quick weather update. Hmm, they're still saying uh, sun all day. Well, it's certainly sunny at the moment. I do have in the shed, and these are courtesy of Lidl. Every now and again, Lidl have these uh, packs of screws, which I just love and go crazy and buy loads of them. And these are, what does that say, 60 mil long. So uh, let's take a box of these. I never really designed this very well, did I? Because it only comes out if yes anyway so yeah let's um, look at using those and uh, also from Lidl I got this countersink bit set so I can drill recess holes in the uprights and then screw through with the long screws into the uh, horizontals so this is the plan a simple sort of uh, rectangular frame solar panels attached at the top here uh, this wire is long enough with the charge controller to actually reach the ground so that's fine for charging that battery uh, now these solar panels have a hole a sort of rectangular hole in the back but that's gonna have to hang over something so probably just screws and it'll just hang over them I hope that's gonna be secure enough this little guy is a man of leisure it would seem now, I'm not going to go crazy with precision here, but I just want to get a measurement across the panel. Uh, looks like 55 centimetres. And uh, when it all gets a bit too much, you just hide under a solar panel.